An Army veteran says he's not surprised by today's attack. We spoke about what this could mean for thousands of North Carolina soldiers and potentially their families. Sirens were blaring across Israel as Iran launched approximately 200 missiles in retaliation. The Pentagon says it's been strategizing with Israel. We were prepared uh, and we were able to successfully work alongside Israel to defend them from this attack. John Hart served in the Army about 24 years. The 82nd Airborne Division, the 18th Airborne Corps, uh, those soldiers are trained and fit and ready to go on a moment's notice. He was deployed several times in the Middle East, where White House officials now say there is, quote, significant escalation by Iran. We do have uh, naval assets in, in the Gulf and in the Mediterranean and stuff like that, so they could certainly respond that way without putting troops on the ground. But I would certainly believe that the uh, Secretary of Defense and others are putting together a strategic response that would include all assets should the president want to have that option. No U.S. military service members were injured in today's attack. In Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.